mission here is to put out a premium product, a world-class product, um, the best Kentucky bourbon and sky vodka that we can possibly produce. The original distillery was across the way and bottling was there. The bottling went away early 20, 2005. The distillery was moved in 2010 and then we put packaging in in 2013. Our bourbon is still aged in all these warehouses and then they bring them across in a tanker from the dump room on the other side. We have on-site quality risk directors, uh, packaging directors. We all have a part in what is produced on a day-to-day -day basis. Rather than dealing with three or four co-packers, we brought all that back under one roof. This is our processing tank room. We have over 40 tanks, stainless steel tanks of different sizes here. We bring it in, test it, filter it, proof it, blend it, flavor it, and then send it off to the packaging line. On any given day, we probably move between 100 and 125,000 gallons of liquid and processing. It was definitely a challenge, and to be quite honest, I was a nervous wreck about it. You know, I'm an operations guy, and you give me a task list, and I'm going to go and get it done and, and run that stuff out the door, right? But when they said, hey, we're going to have this highly automated system, we're going to have software and controls, and we're going to integrate all that, and I knew I had my hands full, and, and a big learning process for us. Uh, fortunately, I had some, some good management that had been through the process at the distillery right across the road, and we were able to come together and work with Bachelor and make this a successful project. The operators probably took no more than two days to become real familiar with it. If you uh, cross that over to some of the other machines that we've learned to uh, operate, probably three to four months period. So uh, processing is uh, absolutely outstanding as far as operator interface goes. Having everything on one platform allows us to go to one control point uh, and see where we are, the processes and uh, step through the process if something stalls or needs to be adjusted. We're able to see from the lab which step they're in. We can see if they're doing a filter recycle or if they're in process of moving it to the bottling tank. There's uh, controls on the filler and also on the screens uh, for the processing operators. Filler operators will be looking at tank levels uh, as well as pressures, and the uh, processing operators will be looking at uh, pressures as well, uh, pump speeds, um, and also tank levels. So there is a constant communication between our pumps and processing and the fillers on the line. So if the filler ever goes offline or it's up and down, it will actually regulate the pumps and processing. These machines um, are second to none. The automation in processing the recipes we're able to use, we're able to turn these products over faster, able to process them faster, get them to the volume lines faster. This bottle size of 750 is our standard size and it can run as fast as 16,000 bottles an hour. Having processing being responsive and on time and being able to give us our material when we need it allows our OE to increase. It definitely saves time, saves money, and makes things more efficient. Processing has been such a blessing because I've not really had to focus my attention on processing. We've not had any hiccups. And that's so important because we've been able to focus our attention on the bottling lines and make sure those efficiencies come up. And I think that all starts back with the, the, the concept um, and working with the team from Bachelor, Rockwell, to make sure that we had that right the first time around and the attention to detail that went into it in the testing phases that we put into it. So without a doubt, um, that has certainly been the number one reason for our success.